Hey, how you doing, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of God Concept. Fuck, I'm tired. It's about 1.30 in the morning. I just completed two projects, and I was about to move on to a third. Well, actually, this is a third. It's a podcast. Fuck, I'm talking about. <laughs> Welcome. Thank you for joining me. Um, I'm watching videos in the background. You know, I was just contemplating different things and thinking about my day. And um, this podcast is more of like a a therapeutic experience for me. So, sorry, for, sorry for the uh, stumbling and stumbling. But um. <clears throat> Thinking about my day, what I've learned, what I've experienced, and things like that. Um, I watched a, a, a Tyler Perry documentary um, about his life and things like that. And, um, you know, talk about how, how, how when he was a young boy, I went through so much traumatic things in his life, you know. And I grew up and he had this one safe space he said he had all his life. And, you know, he would go in his little crawl space and he would imagine and envision things, you know what I mean? Because he was hurt so much, you know, being abused all his life when he was a young guy. And he would go in the same space and he would imagine and dream and he would hear voices in his head to say, you know, to tell him to, to make make your room bigger, you know, make your audience bigger, you know what I mean, and things like that. So that's why he began, um, you know, trying to be a preacher and then he began trying to do other things and, you know, that's why he, who he, that's why he is who he is today. But, you know, to me, I mean, not but, but, not but. Uh, I'm saying it wrong, tongue twister. The thing is, if he hadn't become Tyler Perry, he would have just been another sad story on the news. You know, when I think about everything that we're going through as a, as a people, as in general, in a whole, you know what I mean? And the reason why we go through it in the whole is because, uh, shit, 85% of us aren't even aware of this shit. And the 15 that are, you know, they don't even know how to explain it or break it down to a person where they would understand it to the point where they could do something with themselves and make something of themselves. Some people could try to put you in positions and things like this. But a lot of times, you know, you got that 5% out there who's basically the, the gatekeepers for the, for the other 10% that knows everything that, that's trying to, you know, get ahead or already made it ahead in life. And the other 85% is just supporting, you know, really, I don't know. That's just me spitballing numbers there. Maybe I'm wrong. Somebody could correct me. I'm not right about every fucking thing. But one thing that I'm right about is that, you know, really, you really kind of, we feel no type of sovereignty here. You know what I mean? When we think that, you know, like, okay, in the documentary that I mentioned earlier, he said that he heard a voice that told him something. Was it a literal voice? Was it a literal voice that he heard? Only he can answer that question. Can't nobody else answer that question but Mr. Tyler Perry, right? But the whole thing is, he had to battle through all that adversity and everything. You know what I mean? Nobody knew about this. Nobody seen him going through these things. If he hadn't become Tyler Perry, what he what would he have become? Another sad story on the news, correct? In one way, shape, or form, he would have been another sad story on the news. Or maybe he would have been a pastor or a preacher or something like that, possibly. But to be honest with yourself, it's like so many of us 
have these things that we go through in life. And and I'm I'm saying this to to to, to sum it all up. You know, I believe uh, to some degree, I know, like it's that is all by design. It's all by design. You know, the system is, is made for some people to have it the hardest. So this way you can have these stories of triumphs and adversity and these testimonies. So this way, when you push yourself forward or drag yourself out of the conditions that you were forced to be in, which seems like mere coincidence, which is is staged, is set up to seem like mere coincidence by the powers that be, you know, by the people with energy and, and power in all places in your house and wherever. Whatever, wherever you hit a light switch at, wherever you think about turning a light switch on, right? The powers that be, right? What if they're the ones, you know, guiding or pushing or persuading or, 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 or hindering? What if they're the ones hindering or stopping or preventing, impeding your progress in your personal, in your professional, in your everyday life? Not just on a physical level, on a spiritual and a mental level. You know, it's a shame where, where, where people have the power to actually control devices, to actually control whether you're sick or not. Think about that. I had an epiphany just now. What if COVID, right? What if the coronavirus... Right. Was a way of them slipping a virus into you that they could activate different codes or different illnesses or different things within your DNA, within your body. So if they wanted to, they could activate it to what? Have you have diabetes, get in better shape to what? You know, get sick, have an outbreak, or what? What can they do with that type of thing? What What can they do? Think about it. Think about that type of shit. I mean, <laughs> to be honest with you, I shudder to think. It's a scary thought. But right now, just me saying that, I just had a thought that... uh you know, not a thought, but a feeling that I'm correct about what I just said. And that's some scary shit. And that's what a, a lot of times what I deal with. Because I never said that out loud before. That was the first time I even thought that. So for me to think that and then get a confirmation back that I may be correct about that, because that's that clairvoyance. That's me in my in a space lifting the veil. In a, in a space, giving myself the information or, or the creator or somehow I'm able to get this information. I don't know. But I believe that that's the case. That COVID-19 was basically put out there so they could have a way to attack your immune system from the inside out. And y'all can meditate on that and figure that shit out. You know what I mean? We got a lot of smart, noteworthy people out here who's doing a lot of great things. And all I'm doing is presenting information that I find. Things that I gather. You know, one thing about it is I'm a whistleblower. Just like that guy on the boat. You know what I mean? When he threw up that fucking hat when the white people was whooping his ass. Just like that guy on that boat, when he threw up that fucking hat, when the white people was whooping his ass, that's the same thing I've been doing. All I've been throwing, all I've been doing is throwing that fucking hat up in the air, man. And ain't nobody been listening all this time. All I've been doing is throwing the hat up in the air. Cause they got control over everybody. They got the minds, they got the, they got the TVs, the radio, all that shit. So they got control over everybody. They in your atmosphere, they in your neighborhoods, they in your, your, 
you know, in your police departments, they in your schools, they in your jobs, they at work, they at home, they sleeping in your fucking bed with you. You getting your work from these motherfuckers. These motherfuckers is giving you work. These motherfuckers is controlling the property. These motherfuckers is controlling the churches. These motherfuckers are controlling everything. That's all I'm saying, man. And, and I've been saying this for a long time, and ain't nobody been listening to that shit. Ain't nobody done said not nothing, not nothing, not cat, rat, dog, nothing, not shit to me about shit. But it's okay. Because those who's supposed to hear, they will hear. And those who's supposed to respond, they will respond. So it is it is that. You know what I mean? But I'm I'm no fool. You know what I mean? Mom ain't raised no fool. Grandma ain't raised no fool. I know very well what I'm talking about, and I'm very well versed in what I'm talking about. So you know what I'm really good at? I'm really good at listening to a person speak, right? When I listen to a person speak, I decipher what they say because I'm reading in between the lines of what they say because a person will say something without saying anything at all. And you'll miss it if you don't pay attention. See, some people, what a person says is just in one ear and out the other. But it can't be merely that. It has to be more than just in one ear and out the other. It has to go in one ear, stay there. It can't go out the other. Because then you miss the fucking point. You miss the fucking message. You miss the shot. See what I'm saying? <laughs> if you can't sink it, then you can't swim. And I know that's an oxymoron, but yeah. Or 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 double entendre. I forget. Either way, man. You know, when I think about it, I, I just look at it like this. You know, I got goals. I got goals and I got achievements that I want to make in life, that I want to uh, accomplish in life, right? And one of them is to, 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 when I leave this earth, I don't want to leave with hatred in my heart, no type of envy, hatred, any malice for anybody, right? Even, even if a motherfucker did me wrong or whatever, it is what it is, right? The whole thing is, I see something about this place that we live in. It. And I just want to make sure that now that I know what this is, what this construct is, what this system is that's in place, I want to put my kids in a better position so they so they'll be able to 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 uh have more tools available to them to navigate these torrential <laughs> these trenches, you know what I mean? In America, not just in Philly, not just in Pennsylvania, not just in the East Coast. It's not an East Coast, West Coast, Middle East, you know, heartlands, down South type thing. It's not that. It's the whole United States of America. It's the whole world, as a matter of fact, maybe. Or maybe it's just the whole United. I have no idea to that scale of things. But I know I want to give them the tools to to make it through this thing without without feeling like a slave, without feeling like they don't have sovereignty over their life. Because that's what this thing could do to you. It makes you feel like you don't have sovereignty over your own life after you realize everything. You say, damn, well, is this voice that's telling me that this is what I'm supposed to do? So... Do I listen to that voice? Do I have to listen to that voice? Do I listen to that voice really fast? Do I hurry up and listen to that voice? If I'm not fast enough to listen to that voice, do that voice just leave me and just leave me paralyzed in a state where they don't give a fuck about me anymore? Or just just let me just, you know, go to the wayside? Or do I just go back to my old life now? What do I do? What do you do with that? Right? It's a deep, deep thing, man. 
it's a different level of slavery. It's a different level of slavery. You know, when when you pair the inner slavery, right? The inner slavery that that make you feel like you don't have your sovereignty, your freedom, i.e. your freedom. You know what I mean? And then you take the the outer slavery, right? The external slavery with all the bills and shit that's constantly bombarding you. The TV, the this, the that. You know what I mean? Things that you might want to see. Things that you really don't want to see. Things that you see that that makes you pique interest in it. Things that you might have not, would have ever had interest in before. It's all suggestive and subliminal. And it's all taught to you in your curriculums and on your televisions. And on your radios in a lot of ways. We control minimal things in this atmosphere, in this world that we live in. Very minimal things. But once you get hooked into a system, once you get hooked into a pay system where you're getting paid or you're paying somebody else, either way, you're hooked. That's an addictive feeling. To either have that power or not have that power, you're hooked. To work for somebody and to constantly have the pacification of getting a check constantly every week or every two weeks or every three weeks or monthly or having a salary in a way, that's pacifying. To be the one doling out those funds is also pacifying. And not just pacifying, it it, 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 it can make you, uh, you know, like a good person, they, they don't mind. They know that that's just what they do, right? They know that they, they, they have a job that need to be done and they pay their employees, who that, whoever they have employed to do certain jobs. That's no problem. But then you have other people who leverage the fact that they have to write you checks over top of your head. You know what I mean? I'm talking about big companies and things like that who will fire you just because you're being you, you're an individual, you're, you have a personality. You don't want to follow the strict dress code or, or you have a certain thing that you like to do or you have a certain attire that you like to wear different from what they are accustomed to. They allowed to let you go because they write your checks because they're in charge or they're the manager or CEO or whatever it is. And that's the progress. That's, that's, the things that I'm talking about right there. I don't ever want my kids to be in that situation. And also on the flip side of that, I don't want my kids to ever have to, you know, just do, do, do for yourself. You know what I mean? It right now, if you have to do for somebody because you still figuring this thing or working this thing out, great for you. You know what I mean? If I could take the time back, I wish I would have did a lot of things different. But right now it is where it is, it is where it is. And to be honest with you, it's not that bad. You know what I mean? Cause I'm, I'm, I'm not that old. <laughs> I'm not that old, right? <laughs> and I did a great job of figuring everything out, right? I haven't lost my mind. I still have, I still have my wits about me, right? And with that, now I can apply the information that I've learned. And not only apply it in my life, I could also teach my kids and let them apply it in their life. Because they're merely continuations of me. So I have to teach them so this way they can continue on what I've discovered and I've started to do. Which is, once again, blaze our own trap. Blaze our own path. Be an entrepreneur. Be a trailblazer. You know? It's not the American way. Shit, it's the Cuban way. It's the Irish way. It's the native way. The, <laughs> the, I'm all of those things. I'm native to this land. I'm native to, to islands. I'm native to Ireland. So it's all the same to me. Everything that I'm attached to wants to be free. Everything that I'm attached to wants to be free. So I'm going to use the best in me to get me 
and what I hold dear to me free. And it's as simple as that, you know? If I have to be penalized for that, if I have to be penalized for that in any type of way, shape, form, or fashion, so be it. I'm willing to take my licks like a man. But I'm not going to conform. I'm not going to bow down or kowtow to the system. And if I ever was to enter into a state of confinement where they lock me up, trust me, it will not be voluntary. They would definitely be taking me <laughs> and, and, and holding me hostage, basically, because that's what they do. You have to sign up and volunteer to go to jail. If you don't, they're holding you hostage. That means you're a hostage of the United States of America or state property, if you will. See, people miss the whole message in state property that Beanie Siegel, Skino and Sparks and, 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 and Chris and Neef and, and you know what I mean? All of them was telling you and Freeway was telling y'all, Petey Crack was telling y'all. State property is what we are from the GIF. From the moment you have a birth certificate, make you feel like young Jetta from the start you was finished. As soon as you come in this joint, you state property. Not just once you hold that gun and, and defend yourself or take a life or, or, or rob somebody or sell those drugs. Or go out and, and, and stick somebody up or whatever, or, you know, rob a bank or do whatever it is. You state property the moment you're born. Your kids are state property the moment they're born. And that's a hard pill to swallow. If you really understand how deep or how big that fucking pill gets, pause. And now that I understand that, I'm just trying to wrap my head around the people. And it's a lot of people that don't understand that until they own a high level of success. Once they, once they obtain a high level of success, then they're previewed to this type of information. And they can't disclose this type of information. Because as soon as it's disclosed, as soon as it's talked about or whatever, they'll be made a mockery of or they'll be shunned or whatever the case may be in the public and private. They'll be, they, they let you know you can't tell these type of secrets. No. Internally, externally, through people, through loved ones, family members, shit, through your kids, aunts, uncles, grandparents. Yeah, I'm telling you, it's a vicious, vicious game. But man, are you really free? That's all I'm asking. Are we really free? Are we? Are we really free? Can't nobody on my level explain freedom to me. <laughs> this is Mr. Pagan, man. Let me go. I'm j I'm trying to, you know, I'm trying to not give y'all new definitions for words that y'all readily use. You understand? I'm gonna keep some knowledge to myself. I'm Mr. Begun. Uh, listen, I want to tell y'all about books that I have out available on Amazon, and Kindle, and in person, right? I want to tell y'all about the music that's available on our streaming platforms. The songs that I just recorded. One is called Wasted, and the other one is called Still Calling You. I want to tell you about new projects that I got coming out, but I ain't going to waste my time. It's Mr. Pagan, I'm out. Thank you all for listening, man. Please like, share, and subscribe. Everything. Check them videos out on YouTube, too. I ain't going to tell you all about them again. Peace.